JUDGE IS GIVING BUFFALO PUBLIC SCHOOLS THE GREEN LIGHT TO SHUFFLE AROUND SOME TEACHERS. THE DISTRICT WANTS TO TRANSFER TEACHERS OUT OF CITY HONOR SCHOOL. THIS IS A MOVE THE TEACHERS UNION HAS BEEN FIGHTING FOR MONTHS, BUT NOW SCHOOL OFFICIALS ARE CELEBRATING A BIG WIN. NEWS 4'S CHRIS Hervatitz HAS MORE. Well, Jackie, happy, pleased, and relieved. Those are three words Buffalo Public School officials are using to describe the ruling by a state Supreme Court judge that was filed yesterday. It means the district can transfer five and a half teachers out of city honors and assign them elsewhere. That is something the Buffalo Teachers Federation was trying to block. The union filed a restraining order back in February preventing those moves from happening. The judge has now lifted that. School officials want to move the teachers to help offset the cost of bringing in more than a dozen teachers' aides to perform non-teaching duties. They say that's necessary because of an arbitration ruling that teachers at City Honors do not have to do those duties, something teachers at all other schools are required to do. Now that restraining order has been lifted and school officials are saying they're ready to officially transfer those few teachers. And they will affect uh, the City Honors School at the start of the school year. Uh, City Honors has been working on this. They are, they are uh, fully prepared for this, and the work will continue there. Um, but those, those budgetary considerations and decisions have already been made by the board. The district has made a choice. What they have, choice, they have chosen to do is they have decided they're going to punish the teachers and the students by cutting these teachers from the program. And they're going to harm the program for the kids rather than take the money from their reserves. That's Buffalo Teachers Federation President Phil Ramore. He said if the district makes the move to officially transfer those positions, which they say they will again, the union will continue to fight it. Chris Arvada, it's News 4.